Hello, Simmies, and welcome to or back to my channel. It's your girl, Simply Wive, and today I bring you another episode of The Hyatt. Before we get into today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss out when I post. All right, Simmies, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so in the last video, Amir and Omari had a father Sunday. So freaking cute. They just spent the day at Omari's parents' house. That wasn't my original intentions for the episode. I wanted them to get out and do more, but once we got over there, we kind of got stuck, but it was really cute. It was really cute still. Y'all, at the end of the freaking episode, we found out that Kalia had the stomach flu, and, you know, I was fully prepared to take care of Kalia. I was just saying it, you know? Have her drink plenty of water, rest up. Omari was literally gonna wait on her hand and foot. Like, honestly, until, you know, when she gave birth and after. Like, he was gonna take care of his girl. Especially because she ended up having the stomach flu. Before I could even finish out the end of the last episode, Kalia goes into labor, y'all. She goes into labor. And I literally had to end the video there. So I'm literally, for y'all, it's gonna be, you know, some days in between. But for me, I'm literally picking up this video right after ending the last video. So yeah, because obviously I couldn't save my game. I can't get out my game now. So we're kind of stuck. I gotta go ahead and film this, even though I wasn't ready to film the freaking labor and delivery video. But here we are. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're not having a water birth. She's going to have this baby at the hospital because she's being induced. Let me just go ahead and get out of tab mode so I can read over some notifications that we got. All right, y'all. So it says, going into labor, Kalia is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. Kalia needs to go to the hospital. The baby needs to be induced. Click on the sim and choose to have baby at hospital. And it says, welcome to the clinic. Feel free to make yourself comfortable and ask one of our obstetricians if you need anything. You can try doing some labor-inducing activities, such as taking a walk or doing exercise on a birthing ball. You will go into active labor once you are 10 centimeters dilated. And of course, Amir had to be sent to daycare because we had to leave in a hurry. So, um, yeah, can you come check on the baby? Wait, who went to be our doctor? Who went on? Okay, Anika, I think she's been working with us. So check on the baby, please. Check on our baby. Kalia's starving. I don't think she got a chance to finish her sandwich. She's checking on her. The baby's heartbeat sounds normal. I know contractions can be intense, but you can handle it if you take it moment by moment. Okay, Kalia, she's still dealing with the freaking stomach flu. Um, Let's come do some breathing exercises. Oh, and I start Pitocin. Do we even have any birthing balls? Wait, she might still. Oh no, we don't, hold on. Let me get her a birthing ball. All right, as y'all can see, this room did have two beds and stuff in it, but we want Kalia to have her own room. Like, she deserves to be in here by herself, period. So, yeah, we're going to have her. I think she's doing some breathing exercises. Yeah. Oh, my little Kalia Lee. And then let's have them start Pitocin. I haven't seen this yet, so I wouldn't mind seeing this. And my girl still got the freaking stomach flu. Like, she looks great. Oh, my gosh. Omari, oh where are you? Uh-uh. Get back in here. And we're going to do some... Oh, let's sway together. Yeah. And we're going to ask him for a back massage. And we're going to exercise. My girl is literally greenish gray. Like, she's sick. All right. Are y'all going to start the Pitocin? Is Anika coming? Okay, Anika's coming and started Pitocin. I haven't seen this yet. Okay, I've never seen this animation, so let's see it together. 
Please help my baby out. Ooh. And the summer eats. Please. She eats. Panda Sama definitely eats. She's cleaning the area. Okay. She said, Ow. Oh, Kalia, I'm sorry. Oh, my baby. Hold on. I will delete this right now. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's see. Go over her move list really quick. She's in labor. Worsen contractions. Oh my gosh, from Pitocin. In the sterile fluorescent lit room, Kalia's world narrowed to the searing rhythm of her own breath and the unrelenting cadence of pain. Each contraction was a rising tempest that threatened to engulf her. Wrenching her body in its unforgiving grasp, she clung to the edge of the hospital bed, her knuckles white, her body a battleground of sensations. Wow, wow. She's freaking hungry. She has the stomach flu, contraction pain from contractions. Kalia's contractions are definitely uncomfortable, but manageable for now. Perhaps she should rest up while she can, or maybe take a walk before moving becomes unbearable. One way or another, she should definitely take advantage of this calm before the storm. Hospital time from early labor. It's time for Kalia to get settled in the hospital. She's a little nervous that this is actually happening. Luckily, she can still talk and feel normal in between contractions, but the time between each contraction is still inconsistent. Okay. High blood sugar. Y'all know she was having that pregnancy complication. Breathe from breathing exercise. Kalia feels lucky to be here. This is a privilege and this is her adventure. She is focusing on accepting the contractions. She reminds herself that the pain is productive and is bringing the baby out. Period, Kalia. Well, from water breaking, Kalia thought she'd be more calm considering this isn't her first time. But whether it's the surprise of her water breaking or the intense pain coursing through her body, Kalia is quickly realizing childbirth is chaotic no matter how many times you do it. I love the fact that the mod recognizes that she already has a kid and she already went through this before. Like, that's pretty cool. My baby, uh, oh, this is just, it's killing me to see her like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, not saying that Amir's birth was like super smooth, but it was a little bit more relaxing. We were at home, so she was in the comfort of her own home. It was a water birth. She had a midwife that was pretty good. And you know, we went into labor when it was time to go into labor. Now she's going into labor early, like this is scary. But I can definitely say she gonna have this baby today on this beautiful, lovely Friday. Wow. I'm glad that Omari went to see his parents and stuff cause you gonna be locked in the house after this. Oh my God, it says something wrong from going into labor. This can't be right, it's something wrong. Kalia is experiencing horrendous pain. Is her baby all right? Is Kalia dying? It's almost as if her body's acting on its own and it's terrifying. Oh, please. Oh, it said it hurts from going into labor. Kalia's in a lot of pain right now. So much that is making her want to cry. If Kalia has a companion, get them over here quick. Having some support will really help her navigating her contractions. I'm trying. That Pitocin takes a long time. Okay. Oh, it says it's almost time from active labor. About time already. The contractions are intense. Kalia feels the inside of her body is being lit on fire and ripped apart simultaneously. She is done with this whole situation and ready to get it over with. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> my my baby's going through it. I'm definitely happy. You know, they wanted their kids to be close. But they're definitely going to take a break after baby girl. Like, they're going to wait maybe until Amir is, like, in elementary school before they have another kid. Because she's going to have PTSD from this labor and delivery. Can you check on us? Hello? Check on the baby, cause we scared. Check on the baby and can we can we um ask to check dilation and ask for epidural at this point? Oh my gosh, look, my babies. She's like, babe, I really need you right now. He like, mama, I'm never going anywhere. I promise you, Amir and baby girl got me for life and past that, okay? She's like, I know, babe, I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else. Like, I couldn't imagine having to experience this with anybody else. I'm terrified. It just feels like a whole different go around versus with Amir. I felt like things were much smoother, and I'm just scared. I just want her to be okay. I want me to be okay. I just want us to both to be healthy and us to get our baby girl through this. 
and he's like you got me forever Kalia I'm gonna stay right by your side we're gonna figure this out and definitely talk to the doctors about everything I'm not going anywhere hold me as tight as you need to hold me all right we're gonna ask her to check dilation she still got this freaking stomach flu it's crazy ask her to check your dilation please so she's about to ask her to check her dilation oh my gosh she's fully dilated wow wow y'all what i didn't know she was fully dilated y'all it's freaking go time let me get omari up here like asap hold on one second because i need you to join her sir i'm gonna join her oh he's doing it okay good no he's not yes he is okay okay join her she's pushing baby girl out y'all Clea, you got this you got this baby you got this oh my goodness Y'all, I was not expecting this to happen so fast. Hold on. Let me, um, like, I really, I really thought we had more time, y'all, but I had to turn my headline effects off so we could take some pictures. Kalia, you got this. You got this, baby girl. You're strong. She's like, come on, one more push. Y'all, I'm gonna go check the poll really quick. I know the way that everything is gonna be set up is gonna be crazy because y'all are still voting i literally just put the poll out like an hour and a half ago but whatever name is winning that's gonna be the name of baby girl so let's get into it all right y'all so we have 28 votes on the poll so far and the name xyla is in the lead by 61 percent there's no other name on that list that's even close um Novea has 14 percent Ava has 18% and Haven has 7%. So, yeah, if it was like, let's just say one was like 39 and one was 41% or something like that, then I'd be like, okay, let me give it a little bit more time. But Zyla is already so much, like, so high up there. Zyla is most likely going to win. So, we're going to go ahead and name baby girl Zyla. Oh my gosh. So, backstory on Zyla, y'all. So I was sitting here trying to think of four names to add. I added Ava, like I like the name Ava and it would have been cute to have two A names, but I really didn't care if both babies had the same letter, the same starting letter of their first name. That doesn't bother me, I don't care about that. Um, so I was like, okay, let me just put Ava up there for fun. I really liked Haven, like I was just gonna go with Haven, but I was like, let me make it interactive and give my semis a chance to vote. So I really liked Haven. So maybe somewhere down the line, I can have another Sim have a baby and they'll name their baby Haven or something because I really do like that name. When I thought of Haven, in my mind, I kind of thought of Novea. So I was just like, let me throw that up there too because I wouldn't mind her name being Novea. And then at the end, I don't know where Zyla came from. I was like, something with a Z or X, like that would be different. And then I was like, Zyla. And then I thought of Tylee, I know the girl that sings the song Water. I was like, okay, but Xyla is different, so let's just do Xyla. So, I'm kind of glad I went with Xyla because it's really different and it's pretty and, yeah. So, baby girl, Xyla Hyatt, period. Welcome to the world, baby girl. She's doing her final pushes, y'all. Y'all know these babies be rice-skinned when they first come out, but it's okay. She gonna get her color. Oh my gosh, baby Xyla is here. I can't. So freaking cute. And she crying. Oh, meet your mommy and daddy, baby Zyla. All right, let's see how Kalia is feeling now, okay? So new baby from new baby. What a relief that all that pushing was finally over. Kalia is exhausted physically and mentally, but for the first time in her life, she understood what it means to love something more than she loves herself. It says new baby from birth. No moment in a Sims life is more joyous than the birth of a child. Uh, let's see. She still has the stomach flu. Scar scratch. Ooh. No one told Kalia how unbearable the itchiness would be after birth. Ooh. Birth plan chaos from labor induction. Kalia wishes things had gone very differently, but she supposes she should just be happy. She and offspring made it home safe. Still, it wasn't what it was planned, and that's always disappointing. It says slight excitement from thoughts on offspring personality. Kalia is hoping for a girly child, and since her child's birth gender is female, Kalia's hope is only stronger now. There is no telling that the child will behave as a girl, of course, but personality is made up of so much more. Oh, that's cute! So she want a girly baby because she got her 
little baby boy at home okay whoa Kalia baby girl is thick 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 so we're gonna have them go home we're actually gonna do like an extended hospital stay but in order to do that I'm gonna have to age Lila up to an infant y'all and we just gonna have to do that because I don't really care for the newborn stage anyways so we're going to have Kalia go home or whatever and she's gonna pack a bag because this was all unexpected she didn't even get a chance to pack a bag she's going to pack a bag everything all stuff like that her and baby girl are gonna go and stay off for one day so she can just have some extra bonding with baby girl before Amir gets back home and we all make this a complete family thing okay so yeah she's gonna go home get her bag get some extra clothes grab some stuff for baby girl and baby girl don't even have a freaking nursery so Kalia is like upset with Omari because she's like okay by the time Amir was here his nursery is already done so like what's going on why my baby don't have a nursery so we're gonna have to put a crib in the room with us but I want my baby to have her own nursery like we got all the extra rooms upstairs why doesn't she have her nursery so that's also gonna be her chance to just get away so like I said they're gonna have their extended hospital stay so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get all that together and I'll see y'all at the house. All right, Simi. So I'm actually going to leave this part right here. I decided to just make a separate episode for that one day of bonding that Kalia is going to be able to really take in with baby girl. But I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I did. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss out when I post. All right, Simi. I'll see y'all in the next video you can keep your